Roasters USA. I wanted to let you know that Artisan just came out with the update for 2.8.3. This is a beta version, so it's not quite fully released yet, but I wanted to let you know that it is the first version that supports the Collider Roasters without your additional files that you need to load. So to begin with, if you go to the artisan-scope.org website, if you go to the install now, it's just going to have the existing versions out there. But if you click the all releases, it'll pull up another tab and it has the version 2.8.3 RC. So this is a pre-release. You can see it is made for Mac OS, Ubuntu, and Windows. Now you will need Mac OS 11 plus. So some people that have like maybe a little bit older computers, you might have to upgrade. Uh, I think pretty much everyone's on Windows 10 by now. So go ahead and download this. I've already downloaded it and we're just gonna pull it up real quick. So the major change is previously you would download a connection file. And now if you go to the config menu, machines, Kaleido, we're gonna click off. I wanted to make sure I was connected. So we're gonna go to config, machines, Kaleido, and for Bluetooth, we're going to go ahead and click Legacy. We're going to overwrite our existing settings. And we're going to choose our COM port. This is going to be different for everyone. Right now, I have this M2 hooked up. I'm going to select this M2. And it asks for your machine capacity in kilograms. So since this is a 400, or 400 gram roaster, we're going to go 0.4. On your M1, it'd be 0 0.2, M2, 0 0.4, the M6, 0 0.7, and the kilo is going to be 1. Click OK. And when we click on, you'll notice that the buttons at the bottom are actually a little bit different. And they're actually dramatically better than before, drastically better. Um, it has pretty much the same functions. It calls it burner instead of, I forget what it said before, but it has the burner. So that's essentially your heat and temperature. That's not your set values. This is the percentage of your heating element that's turned on. The air is going to be your exhaust. And then your drum is your drum speed. It has a couple of nice features at the top, which depending on which roaster you had, these buttons were actually all different depending on which Collider roaster because they're all set up just a little bit different. So you have your burner and you can do plus five, minus five percent. Same thing with the air. You have auto power and manual power. So I believe that's for your PID roasts. You have your heating on and off. So when you begin heating, you'll set your set value and you'll click heating on. And they'll start cooling and then if you wanted to override your cooling fan if you were going to drop your beans before your actual uh, drop time on your background you can turn on your cooling fan just by hitting that so it's very nice i feel like it's a lot more cleaned up a lot more user friendly you still have the sliders off to the side so you can still slide your exhaust your drum speed your burner and then we have your set value now I'll, I'll give a little extra thing on this set value. Since I have a background loaded, a lot of people, they ask about this all the time. So let's say we want to put that up here and see how it went back. Well, because I have this background loaded and it's going to round up to 179 degrees, it's actually starting at 179. So if you're trying to go a little bit higher, a little bit lower, then you actually need to go into this curve and modify that charge temp. So if you're getting stuck, I get a lot of emails saying like, why didn't my set value change? It's driving me crazy. Well, the background that you're selecting is set at 179 degrees for the charge. So you can go to the artisan designer, you can make a change, you can go down to 175 or whatever. Maybe you have a smaller roaster and you wanna go just a little bit less. Um, I do that pretty regularly and it works out very well for me. So. Just want to do a quick drop on this 2.8.3. If you have any issues with it, make sure to reach out, drop some comments below. We actually provide all this information back to Artisan, as well as the people that have designed the Collider Roaster. So they will supply all that and make sure that it starts working better. So far, I've not had any issues. I actually feel like it works a lot better than the old one. The other one, it worked well. 
Uh, this one seems to work a lot better. I really enjoy it. So thanks for watching. Hit subscribe. Uh, we should have some more stuff like this coming. I'll let you know when the final version, 2.8.3, drops. And we'll go over it in a little bit more detail. But that's it for today. Thanks.